Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is stamping the sequence. You want to form a target string of lowercase letters. At the beginning, your sequence is target length, question marks. You also have a stamp of lowercase letters. So on each turn, you may place the stamp over the sequence and replace every letter in the sequence with the corresponding letter in the stamp. Uh, and you can take up to 10 times the length of turns. So for example, if our initial sequence is uh, five question marks and your stomp is ABC, you can make it like ABC with two question marks here or ABC with question marks on the ends, so on and so forth. And we want to see if we can get to our target sequence, which looks like that. Now we can see that our answer is going to be 0, 2 because what we'll do is first stamp at the 0 index and then we'll stamp at the 2 index. It's going to result in this target. Okay, so if this uh, sequence is, it's not guaranteed to be possible. So uh, if we have to do any more than the moves uh, required, then it's not accepted. Or if it's just not possible, then we should return an empty output. Okay, so uh, the, one of the key insights here is to uh, realize that instead of starting from the question marks to the target, it actually makes a lot more sense to start from the target and try to get to the initial question marks. A reason for that is if we started with all this, there's like basically uh, a whole exponential amount of combinations we can go down. Uh, we can start with like ABC here, then we can start ABC here, and we have to do um, a continual sequence for every single one of those paths. Uh, so it's very not optimal. If we go backwards though, there's only so many paths we can take. Basically, we need to find a sequence where the stamp is the same. And if it is, then we could just replace everything with question marks and then um, go again through the whole string and see if we can find another place where we could place this stamp and uh, still be the case. Uh, so there's a couple things we need to keep track of. We got to first find the sequence in here, then replace it with all question marks. We also need to write some sort of function to check to see if this stamp, um, say that some of these are question marks, could still work even if question marks are on there because we know Later on, it's going to get replaced with a stamp that we've already, you know, uh, replaced with question marks in there. So, okay, so let's begin, uh, see what we'll need to initialize first. We'll initialize N and M. N is going to be the length of the target, and M is going to be the length of the stamp. We we'll also want our, uh, our output, which is just going to be a list. And since we're moving backwards, we're going to have to return this as reversed later. Okay, so... Uh, first thing to do is we want to do this in a while loop, but make sure that we can only do this in so many moves, right? So I'll call this moves and max moves. Moves will start with zero, and max move is going to be, what was it, 10 times n. Now, um, I'm also going to initialize something called pre-move, uh, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Pre-move. So while move is less than max moves, we are going to do a for loop, i in range of, let's see, the length of n minus m, and we're actually going to have to plus 1 here. Okay, now we're going to do our check. Well, first let's print, and I'll show you what it looks like. So our target is going to be i to i plus what? The length of the stamp, right? Uh, so you know what, let me just make sure this part works. So this should give us ABA, BAB, and ABC. So that looks good. Uh, all right, so let's do this. All right, so in here, the first thing we're gonna do is check to see if the stamp can equal the subsequence, okay? Uh, and to make it a little bit more readable, I'm going to write a function. I'll say if check our subsequence, which is going to be target i to i plus m, and our tar um, and the stamp we're trying to match, which is going to be stamp. So if this is the case, then we're going to replace our target with question marks for the ones that it's the same for. So now we got to write our function here, right? So if check, call this source target. 
what we'll do is say for i in range of m, which is the length of the stamp, we got to make sure that source dot i is equal to target i. And I'm going to call this trg just in case we get confused here. Okay, so if this is the case, we'll have some sort of boolean. We'll say, does this work? Start with false, and we'll say, okay, works, then equals true. Else if source um, that i equals question mark, well, instead of saying works equals true here, we're actually just gonna continue because there's an edge case where if all of them are question marks, this would say it works, but we don't want that. We only want to find the ones where it's partially correct, right? Now, otherwise, if any point it's not these two conditions, then we can return a false immediately. Otherwise, we return whatever it says here. So we call that works. OK, so if this is the case, then what do we do? Uh, we'll first, let me first increase this. OK, we'll first increase our move by 1. Um, well, add to our output the i that this is at. And we also need to update our target here. So target is now going to be equal to target from i plus, say, question mark times the length of the stamp plus target, uh, let's see. I think I messed that up here. It's, it's from the beginning to i, and then from i to, or I should say i plus m to the end. Okay. Now the final thing we should check is to see if target is now equal to, um, I guess, all question marks times m times n. That means we found our answer. So we can just return our output, but just make sure that's reversed. Okay, now otherwise, uh, let's see. If we can get out of our loop and we say, uh, okay, so now I'll talk about why we have pre moves here. So we'll pre move is first going to start with move here. And Basically, we're going to go through the entire target, or I'm sorry, the the entire yeah string. And if we couldn't find a stamp that worked, well, that means it's going to remain the same. So if at this point pre move still equals move, that means this didn't work. So we can just return an empty list because there was no path that we could take to get up to the initial question mark part. Okay, so let me see if I've forgotten anything here. This moves, pre moves. Uh, I think that should work. So let's go ahead and submit that. Or let's first test it. Okay, it looks like it's working, so let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. Whew. All right, so this ends up being um, about n, n squared because uh, max moves, it's basically n, and we'll have to do a for loop here, which is going to be another n. Um, I, I do realize that we have to check every single character inside of our stamp. So maybe it's n squared times the length of the stamp, which is m. Um, but this works. Um, I don't know if it's optimal. I certainly didn't come up with all of it myself. Uh, but I think the key thing to realize is, if again, going backwards, once we can figure that out, we can find all sorts of algorithms that can work in this sort of method. So. All right, that concludes our March Leak Code Challenge. I, these were really tough at the very end, but glad we got through it. So hope that helps. And thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.